but I gotta get into this middle honey because I I be having a unibrow okay <laughs> I'll be having a universe, so we gotta get that. Hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your Terry and Nathan Zona. Now, you know, so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to keep up with your brows at home during quarantine because Corona is taking over. So, if you want to see how I shave and pluck and squeeze and fill and conceal my brows, then keep on watching and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, you guys, so I'm definitely up close and personal, but you got to. We got to be this close to each other so y'all can see what I'm doing, okay? So, I got my little handy dandy mirror right here. And I'm about to show y'all everything you're going to need to do your eyebrows at home. So first, you're definitely going to need an eyebrow razor of some sort. I got this on a beauty supply store for like a dollar. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon. Same thing goes for tweezers. Get any tweezers that you like to use. Then you're going to need whatever kind of eyebrow uh, pencil that you want to fill in your brows. This is the one that I usually use. This is the one I prefer, but I'm out. It's the Micro Brow Pencil and Espresso. I'm sure it's not going to focus. Um, and instead of using that today, I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. It's regular. It looks something like this. So, so definitely use whatever brow product, even if it's a pomade or a pencil or whatnot. Get whatever you want to use, and then you're going to want to use a concealer and a concealer brush. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 370 with um, my Morphe brush that comes with the spoolie at the end, okay? Um, I also have an alcohol pad on standby because I like to make sure my face is clean before I start. So, um, I just like to use Neutrogena's clear pads. They have alcohol on them. And I just want to lightly um, clean off my brows. So, yeah. And let them babies dry. We are so close and personal. Oh, my God. Like, we are so close. Y'all like my hair? I know y'all like my hair. If you do, stay tuned. I will definitely be um, uploading this tutorial very, very soon. So, yeah. Once my brows are dry, I just like to brush them up in the direction that I want them to lay. Okay, disregard this little bump I got right there. That's not cute, but, you know, Mother be, mother Nation be acting bitchy, okay? So, once I get them laid in the direction that I want them to, usually I clean the top of my brow first. So I go in with my razor. Make sure that your razors and everything that you use is clean because you don't want to break out when you do this. Um, and usually what I like to do is hold my brow up. Like pull at the skin. A hey, tattoo gang gang. I like to pull at the skin. I need to get it touched up. But I like to, let me stay focused on what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm sorry, I get distracted easily. I like to pull the skin and grab my razor and you want to go down in a downwards motion. So basically this is what I'm doing. This is going to get all the hairs that I can't tease. All you want to do is go straight down. I like to do little strokes so I'm not missing anything. And you just go straight down. You don't want to go down too far because you definitely will take off the hair that you May want to stay there so um yeah this is just cleaning it up getting rid of all those little irritating hairs and it's gonna make your this is really gonna make your eyebrows pop out like it's gonna make them look like they're done even before you do anything else to them because you're getting rid of all the other hairs so it's just gonna make them look nice and tidy so once I do that I brush all of those hairs away 
Bye bye. And then I do the same thing, but I go to the side. I go towards whatever brow I'm doing. So if I'm doing my right brow, I'm gonna go towards that brow. When I do my left brow, I'm gonna flip it and do it the other way. But I gotta get into this middle, honey, because I I be having a unibrow, okay? <laughs> I be having a unibrow, so we gotta get that. We gotta get that together, honey, okay? So and keep that uh Make sure you keep your um, alcohol pad around because you can use it to get rid of all the hairs. So just wipe that off. And instead of pulling my face with my hand, I just go like that and lift my, um, my skin up so I can get all up in these brows, honey. Okay. Not too bad. My brow's not too crazy right now. So that's all I need to do for that. And then I like to go underneath this well. Um, so I just take the same razor and lightly go underneath. Be careful right here because you don't want to mess up your shape. So don't go too crazy. If you're experienced, you can go ham. But if not, I'll save that for the tweezers. If you're not too sure because you don't want it to look too choppy right there. You want it to still look filled in. So just go very, very lightly. I don't be liking a mess right here. I don't like to mess right there either, cause you don't wanna mess it up. Now my under, my under brow isn't that crazy. Usually I'll take my um razor and go underneath my brow as well, but it's not looking that bad right now. So we're just gonna leave it be. Can y'all tell the difference in the brows already? No, probably not. It's okay. <laughs> I'm about to do the next side. Oh, my braids. Try and get in the way. Y'all can see all my imperfections. This is so annoying. All right, let's do this side. Please don't go too far over. You don't want your brows to be too spaced out. So yeah, this is what our brows are looking like now. So now it's time to go in with your tweezers and get any of those little hairs that you um, missed with your razor or that you just couldn't get. I don't have many. I really tried to wait and do this video until my brows were like out of whack, like really, really out of whack. But um, I guess they weren't that bad. But now I'm just going in and taking. Oh, that one hurt, girl. Taking whatever little hairs that just don't belong or don't look too good. And I'm just taking them out. Really hope y'all can see. I tried to use a different lens. Tell me down in the comments below if this looks a little bit more clear than what my um, videos usually look like. Wow, I'm really proud of my brows. They don't look that bad. Okay, so you never want to over tweeze. So this looks pretty good to me. They're just nice and clean. Um, my brows are different, so you can tell this one has a very sharp front compared to this one. And you, you're also going to tell that this one is way more arched than this one is. Like it probably looks like this one. Sh this one goes straight and down, and this one's more arched. My brows are definitely um. Not twins, they're not sisters, they're cousins. Maybe they're best friends, who knows. But anyways, once you get that done, now it's time for you to fill them in. Y'all can tell my brows are thick as fuck. Like nothing, I have no product on my brows right now whatsoever. 
So all I like to do when it comes to filling in my brows is just go in the areas that need a little bit help, a little bit more help. So just like to lightly underline the front. And then I like to help my tail out. I'm using like the lightest hand possible. And then I like to outline my top. And then once that's done, I like to brush everything together so I can see what it's looking like. And then certain areas be needing a little bit of help so I just like to lightly fill it in and when I say lightly I mean like I'm barely touching my face and I like to go in upward motions in the front because sometimes they can be a little patchy you know And then brush everything out. Brushing just literally blends it. Okay, so now that both brows are filled in, I just take like the littlest bit of concealer on the back of my hand. And I do conceal the top and bottoms of my brows. I only do that when I am putting a full face of makeup on and I'm going to do that later for next video. So I'm going to do it today. But basically all I do is take my concealer brush. I just had a hiccup, excuse me. And I just get a little bit of concealer. And I just go right under my brow. This mirror is dirty, huh? I'm over here struggling trying to see myself in this mirror and she's dirty. My brows probably look really, really dark right now because I don't have anything else on my face. But I promise you, I promise you my brows are going to look good, okay? And I really hope this video has been focused so far. If not, I'm going to cry. So... Then I like to bring the product down. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all earlier. Um, I also use this e.l.f. blending brush because we're going to blend out the concealer in just a minute. I like to arch my brow when I'm doing this part. It helps me get a better clean up. And if you do conceal the top of your brows, definitely use like a darker concealer or you can clean them up by using your um, foundation. You don't ever want to just leave that light ass concealer at the top of your brow. I don't like that look. So yeah, definitely do know that once this video is over, I'm going to blend this all out.
be so focused when I do my brows, it don't make no sense. So, I also like to let my concealer dry down a little bit. So, I go ahead and leave that there while I work on the next brow. There we have it, and now I just go in with this $1 e.l.f. blending brush that I got from CVS. Um, I know Amazon has these as well. It may not be from e.l.f., honey, but any blending brush could work, or you could use a beauty blender, but um, I used to use a beauty blender. I don't know why I stopped. Some people put concealer in the middle of their brows. If you want to do that, go ahead, stink. Um, I don't. I never tried it, but yeah. Who knows? It may look good. It may look really good. So once I blend all the concealer out, the last thing I do is brush my brows. It just makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, and I brush it in the direction that I want it to go. If you use um brow gel, this will be when you add that but yeah you guys this is the final product of my brows um i'm gonna go be my face so y'all know that my brows don't look super duper dark because they don't i promise you i promise you they look normal okay so i'm gonna go be my face and i'm gonna come back and yeah so yeah y'all i went ahead and beat the freak out of my face off camera um I love it. I just wanted to do that and show you guys that my eyebrows aren't too dark for my face. Like once you do the rest of your face, your eyebrows really come together. But if you do that entire eyebrow tutorial without no makeup, they may look a little harsh, okay? So you may want to like fill them in a little more lightly. Or if your eyebrows are as thick or thicker than mine, you probably don't even have to fill them in at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to keep up with your brows during quarantine. Um, if you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely comment down below to see what, I mean, definitely comment down below to tell me what you guys want to see from me next. So, um, yeah. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay?